So the Geek Speak show still going through the exhibit floor of Silicon Valley Comic Con. Ran into an old friend of ours, Paul Roman Martinez, and the Adventures of the 19XX. Paul, how are you doing? Good. It's been a while, actually, since we've had you on. It's been a while. I see you around, but it's been a while since we had time to stop and chat. Yeah, yeah. so, so uh, there might be some new viewers who haven't heard of the Adventures of the 19XX. So let's start there. Okay. What, what is it? So the Adventures of the 19XX series is about a group in the 30s and they're trying to prevent World War II from happening before it starts. So there's a lot of real history, alternate history, machines, magic, powerful people. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, and, and, and I know the story again, but you know, real mm -hmm. quick, tell them where'd you come up with the story? Uh, well, starting, um, yeah, it's hard to say because I was always interested in history, yeah. but not specifically the 1930s until I sat down and decided to do a comic book. I realized, you know, I don't know much about the 30s, and I don't think a lot of other people know much except for the Great Depression and a few things like that. So it kind of started writing itself out of the research. Yeah, which actually, that's one thing I liked about it when, you first, when we first discovered you is it acts like a gateway for people to are like, oh, well, let me go look at this, let me go look at that. So it leads to, the, leads to them to the go learn some more about history. So it, it, where is it? It's one of these books here. Books that over here on the right. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, so book three is the latest one. And in that one, the group travels to Tibet and are trying to stop uh, Horsemen of the Apocalypse, uh, the war horse. And in my book, uh, the red horse is a red mech. Hmm. So there's stuff like fun stuff like that in the book where I kind of tweak history a little bit yeah. and update it for the 30s, you know, with a vibe, you know, looking back from the 2000s, right? Yeah. So I get to do a little bit of everything that way. Yeah, so, so, and then I remember when you talking about the card game, so, so talking about the cards. Yeah, I have the game laid out right here. You get to play as characters from the series. Uh, you equip yourself with weapons and items from the book, uh, browning, pistol, helmet, tommy guns, and as you score hits on your opponents, you actually get to draw cards from the story. So you play through these chapters, and they're items that you can equip. Sometimes there's situations that you have to deal with, and the game comes with book one and book two, uh, so you get to play through both stories, and I actually just released a book three expansion, so you get to play through uh, the chapters of book three as well. So it's a way to kind of bring the book alive in another dimension, you know, getting to play through the series. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, People it's, seem it's, to enjoy that's it. That's actually what I was going to ask you. So, so they are tied into the actual books? Yeah, they're they... definitely tied in, but you don't have to have read the books to play the game. When I was play testing, we mm -hmm. tried it with a lot of different people, people who had read the books and hadn't. And the ones that read them were like, oh, I remember this moment. This is great. It's really cool. And then the ones that haven't were just, it's cool. It's an interesting story that they get to see as they play the game. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know you always have some awesome looking booths and, and everything. But but people today, as kids especially, you know they when they see this stuff, they're like, well, it's not an app, it's not on the computer. So so why go with printed books with card games instead of something digital? So I you know I don't know digital stuff just doesn't call to me as far as a creator. Yeah, um, I may do something later, but for now I like the printed material. That's kind of what got me into illustration and design was printed books, comics as a kid. I loved feeling them and the covers and the smell. The advertisements, yeah, especially the old ones, the yeah. smell of the old ones. I loved that tangible feel to it and none of that you can get from a digital platform. Yeah. Yeah. Well, unless it's burning, then you don't, you don't want that smell. Mm -hmm. So where can everybody go and get it? Well, you can check out my website. It's the 19xx.com so the19xx.com and there's a link to my store there they can read along with the pages of the comic as they're uploaded because they start as a web comic and then once each story is done they go to print um, but they can find pretty much everything there and, the, and we can also see you at a, another convention what's your next upcoming convention uh, the next convention I think I'm doing Denver next mm -hmm. uh, Denver Phoenix and then San Diego I'll be at San Diego this year so yeah, they can catch up with me there too. Yes, yeah, so if you guys will be at any of those, you can see it, see it for yourself, and more importantly, get it for yourselves also. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks for having me, Henry.